Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. We are now entering into the beginnings of winter. And uh, some people will notice it more in different parts of the country, but uh, uh, it kind of we're moving that direction. And this is the time when we renew our kidney essence. And uh, winter is governed by the, the element of water and kidney is the is the organ that uh, is in charge of that. So the kidney function in, in Chinese medicine, they differentiate between the actual organ itself and the kidney function, you know, and it's kind of related to all things water. So your, your uh, urinary function, your blood, your, uh, your, your, uh, uh, sexual uh, hormones, uh, the uh, your bone marrow, and uh, all these things are related to the kidney function and are nurtured by a strong kidney function. It's also the most yin part of the year, and everything is kind of gathering in, kind of that hibernating kind of kind of thing, which brings us to the master of hibernation, the bear. And so today we're going to do a bear qigong. This uh, particular one is called the uh, the bronze bear, B-R-O-N-Z-E. Um, -E. This is uh, something Master Young told me about. It's uh, the um, the bronze bear, and what we're doing is we're we're nurturing our kidney function, and the way that we we do it is through the uh, the by accessing the young tran point which is in the foot right here right there at the center of the foot and we open up that young tran the uh, the bubbling well gate the energy gate there that that feeds into the earth the um we open that up by by feeling you know between the the heel and the ball of the foot and we we get that that provides the structure to open up that gate so we're going to be focusing on that, and we're going to connect that up to a point, the um, the Liang Chuan point, which is uh, on the the Ren meridian, the uh, uh, Ren Mai, the uh, central channel, the the conception vessel that runs up your center line, and it is you know right above my Adam's apple here, right about there is my it's uh run 23 i think and so that we're going to connect up that with the 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 bubbling well points the uh, the young trend points and the purpose of this one as master young explained it was that it produces saliva and saliva is uh uh it's in in Chinese medicine, it's sometimes called the the dew from heaven. It uh, it the when the saliva gets produced in the mouth, you swallow that, and it goes down and it feeds your your system and particularly your kidney function. And you know, I'm not quite sure. I'm quite skeptical about it, just about everything, but uh, I find that this is helpful and. Uh, so uh, I'm not quite sure uh, the, the logic behind it. I do know that uh, saliva has a lot of uh, enzymes in it that helps your digestion. So that's a good thing. And it, uh, there's some connection there with your, you know, with uh, what's going on in your head, in your, in your brain. And so there's a, a, a connection there between that and that kidney function. So the, the, the purpose of it, though, is by swallowing that you're renewing the kidney function and enhancing your vitality and your uh, particularly enhancing your bone marrow. And your bone marrow, you know, from a, from a Western perspective is, is where all the blood cells get produced and a lot of the uh, immune function stuff. So the whenever that gets fed by you know our qigong then there's a renewal that occurs in the bone marrow which then makes the bone stronger 
because then you got your osteoblasts and your osteoclasts, which are simultaneously ripping apart your bones and putting them putting back new stuff. And that's that's a process that's occurring all all the time. The um, and uh, so there's a, there's one of the one of these bone cells tears it apart. The other puts puts in new stuff. And the new stuff we put in there, if you have your bone marrow is charged up with lots of chi, then the the bones cells that are being produced are a, a lot more lively, and consequently you get this uh, your bones rather than deteriorating with age, um, they they get harder and 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 stronger, and so you get the steel bar wrapped in cotton idea that we we like so much in Taiji. The um, one thing I did read about kidney function relating to the to bone uh, production is that there is uh, the kidney function is related to the production of sexual hormones and the your your sexual energy, which then feeds into the the system. That's your your jing, and that that is then converted into qi and then into and then into shen into spirit. And so the uh, uh, in in medical terms, though, what there is something called the uh, hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis, which means that the hypothalamus is part of your brain, which interfaces between your endocrine system and your nervous system, and your pituitary it controls all your all your hormones in your body, and so then and that has this feedback loop occurring with your gonads, which is having the, having this conversation with your sexual hormones. And there is a, a direct relationship between your level of, uh, of juice and your, your bone health. And the more you can, you can enhance that sexual energy, the more your, the stronger your bones will be. And this is something which is you know, regulated by this hypothalamus and pituitary gland. So that's kind of a, a, a neat little nugget there. I'm not quite sure how it all fits in, but it it seems to add some some validity to the process that we're going to be engaging in here. So anyway, we're going to connect up the balls of the feet. And so what happens is you get the you get the balls of the feet and it comes up the the kidney meridian to the perineum to the uh, uh, the wee end point there at the perineum, and then it comes up the the Ren channel that's uh, coming up the center there, which goes from the wee end up to the, uh, the the up to the mouth, the the lower part of the mouth right here, just above the just below your lip, and so but down below that this is uh, Ren twenty four and Ren twenty three is that Miang Tran point right there. So we're going to connect those points up. And it's not like you're dragging the chi. You're just kind of kind of holding these, holding that idea and then kind of letting it go. What it does is it you you establish a a leaning, a tendency in the energy system so that Oh, it knows where to, it knows where it wants to flow. That energy that's coming up through the balls of your feet, up your kidney meridian, up your center line into the uh, the uh, Liang Tran, and then that's going to produce saliva. And then you swallow the saliva, and it goes back down into into that. And so he, uh, Master Yang says uh, it produces like a, a fog that comes from the lung chi, and it comes down. It rains down onto the kidneys and the kidneys are revitalized and then they send the energy up. Also the uh, going down, it, it's warmed by the heart. And so you get this, this kind of a, uh, a, a turbine kind of effect going on there. So that's kind of a, a, uh, a quick version of the alchemy that's occurring with this and kind of mixing the the Chinese medicine with little snippets of, of, uh, of Western thought in there.
But the the ultimate test of this is how does it make you feel whenever you, we do these things? So we're going to do a uh, the bronze bear and uh, and in so doing, we're going to work with the yin parts. We're going as we get we're moving into this yin phase of the year. We're going to the the bronze bear is very very yin. It gathers the chi and 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 creates this uh, this storehouse of 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 chi, which then we can we can feed off of the rest of the year. Uh, at least that's the story. Um, uh, so before we go into the the fun part here, any questions or thoughts on anything I've said so far? We're good. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's do some stuff. So uh, let's uh, stand up, please. Okay, so let's first just reestablish our our three pillars and get that feeling of connecting up to the big chi and getting coherent within the system and unkinking the hose. So uh, feel the balls of your feet, unlock the knees and uh, sink down into your feet, releasing down, down, down. And you can turn your your hips, get your open up your your quad, get that nice and relaxed, very soon. So you're you're releasing down into your into your legs, into your feet. Reach with the crown of your head and tuck in the chin and open up your jade pillow gate. Reach with your elbows, opening up the shoulders, the shoulder gates, the energy gates there. Point and reach with your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence. And relax your lower back. Allow your sacrum to drop. So with the bear, we're going to have more of a, a rounded shape. We're going to drop the the sacrum and the there's going to be more of a, a rounded shape with the, with the back as we're as we're getting into our into our posture. So that's um, uh, so just feel into the into that. Now sink into your heels and. Keep your center equilibrium, which allow yourself to feel into that yin. And as you do that, be aware of your the balls of your uh, the uh, uh, the bubbling well points in the center of your foot. So we want to make a connection with the earth there, and it's a little easier for me whenever I'm in the balls of my feet. But I want to get into the the heels right now, just so I can feel that the yin aspect of that connection. Still reaching with the crown of the head, still tucking in the chin. And feel into your hands and notice the energy that's getting created there. You're opening up to the big chi, and so we're not necessarily using our own energy. We're just sort of the, we're borrowing it. It's circulating through us. And it takes a lot of uh, twists and turns as it goes through the body. And so that the length of time it, it takes to circulate through the body is how long we're borrowing that chi, just like we borrow our breath. So feel the, the bubbling well points in your feet and 
feel that point. Just actually touch it right now. Just feel that that Liang Tran point, the Ren twenty three, and we want to just ha hold those two ideas, the feeling of those two points, those two areas that you said, the two points in your feet and the one point at there on the Ren, and keep those those three points in your awareness simultaneously. And they're going to be following a path, as I said, up, up the kidney meridian on the inside of your legs, up to the Hui Yin, and then up the, that Ren, Ren Mai, up, up to that point. Place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth reaching upward with your tongue. And you may already notice the saliva that's starting to, to happen there. And feel free to swallow that one ever. Uh, bring the ball to your feet and raise your arms. And reaching out, open, open between your shoulder blades. Feel your spine, your shoulder blades, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, your fingers. Feel everything lengthening there, expanding, opening. Feel the balls of your feet and feel the bubbling well there. And then round your arms and sink into your heels. Just relax into that. Still maintaining that contact with your, the crown of your head, but everything else is very soon, very, very relaxed, sinking. You know, palms down and press down. And just take them down to about the level of your your uh, your Dantian. Open to the balls of your feet and turn your hands out. Rotate, reaching out. And just feel in your arms, feel in your hands, and notice all the activity that's occurring there. And then back, sink into your heels. You bring your hands back. Very soon. Now rotate your hands out into the balls of your feet. Feel that connection between the Yang Chuan and your Liang 
uh, Yelang Tran, you're on the run there. Run into the heels, bring your hands back. Into the balls of the feet, reach out. To the heels and back. Reach forward, stand open, open, reaching out, open between your shoulder blades, open your shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Now sink into your heels and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna turn my body here so as I'm, as I'm going down, I'm going to rotate my hands inward. So they come coming like this, turning in like this and sinking. So your feet are, are spread a wider than hip width. You're sinking down and you're rounding the back. You're rounding the back, reaching out with the elbows, pressing down with the hands and opening. Everything's rounded. And you're sinking. Tongue on the roof of the mouth. Coming up part of the way, not all the way up. Uh, coming up part of the way and rotate your arms out and open, lift the chin a little bit and open the space there for the uh, for that Ren 23. Go into the balls of your feet. And feel the yang here. Good. Now rotate your arms. Your hands in, pick down, round the back, reaching, opening your shoulders, opening your back, breathe. And you don't have to go real low, just go as low as you can be, you can do it, you know, Comfortably. Rotating your arms coming up.
Open your throat. Feel the balls of your feet. Reach for the crown. Feel that young. Once more, think, rotate the arms, round the back. Open the bubbling well. Coming up, rotate outward. Open the throat. And bring your hands, reach out. Now sink into your heels, hands come down. Think into the yin. Swallow the saliva if you haven't been doing it already. Step in. Deep breath. Disappear the chi. Yeah, that was part one. Gives you the the feeling of that bear, that bronze bear energy. I'm going to take that and do um, something else with it. Now we're going to uh, step out. So it's a pretty wide stance. It's a wider than shoulder width stance.
Bring it to the balls of your feet. And feel that connection there between the Yang Tran and the Yong Tran on your feet and then reach up. Open, reaching out. Reach out with your elbows. Your arms have a, kind of a, a rounded look to them. So you're where we have this, you're not coming all the way up your you're into kind of this bare stance there. The back is is rounded. There's that, that mm, we have this this bare feeling here, right? Reach out with your left hand and you're turning. Now your right hand. So when you're doing this, you want your, you really want your backside to get involved with this. You're, you're, when, you, when I'm turning to the left, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going mm, like this, right? There's a, there's a, a turn there guided by the, by my lower back, my yao, and I'm going to be turning to the right. It's going to be this. So everything is moving. So in fact, let's just practice that because that's that's a that's a key part of this this thing. And I don't know if we'll get to the other thing this week. We'll maybe do it next time. Just just from 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 the back here. You want to get your you're sinking down a bit. Your back's rounded. So. You're gonna, gonna reach with my right hand and gonna turn to the left. And so I'm going to mm, the my my yao is turning, the whole body's like turning this way, and I'm going to turn to the right and then turn to the left and back to center and hold. Turn to the right, turn to the left, turn to the right, and back to center and hold. Turn to the left, turn to the right, turn to the left. Back to the center and hold. So you want to get the image of like, like this big old bear that's going, you know, going, moving. Your your arms are connected to your your yao. Your whole your whole system is is turning as you as you're doing this. Your arms are relaxed, but they're extended. So. Uh, I think we have, I think we got enough time. Let's do it. Uh, let's do this one here. So you step out. So your weight's a little farther than hip width. You bring your arms up. And you feel that connection between your Yong Chuan and your Liang Chuan. You reach to the right. Reach to the left, really connecting up. Reach to the right. Back to center. Reach to the right. Reach to the left. This time, as you reach with the right, you step with the right foot. And hold on the left ear. You want to feel that. Re open your back. Reach with the elbows. Feel that expansiveness. Yours is big. This is a big old bear. Now you 
Turn to the right. Turn to the left. Turn to the right and step with the left foot. The big step, right? Mm -hmm. You get that density there. And you hold on the right now. You turn to the left. You turn to the right. You turn to the left and step with the right foot. Hold on the left side. Really feel that rounded, big, full yin shape. Turn to the right, turn to the left, turn to the right, step with the left foot, hold on the right side. Step up, reaching out with both arms. Bring your hands down and bring your thumbs together so they touch your navel. Open. Open the throat. Open the chest. Open the shoulders. Feel that young expansion. I'm reaching out. Hands come down. And just feel into that for the moment. Step in. Deep breath. And disappear the chi. Please have a seat. How was your bear? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I want to steal some little girl's porridge. <laughs> Goodbye.
Uh, any, any thoughts, <laughs> comments? <laughs> as soon as I um, as soon as I focused on this point, my mouth just fills up. It's right. like, it's bizarre. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Not, only, not only focusing on that point, but not obviously in the bubbling wells. Um, but then taking the weight into the heels, that opened up flood floodgates. I was, hmm. I was amazed. Wow. I mean, you know, there was there it was flowing, but being in the heels, pull. Wow. Cool, very nice. Ben, no question. Um, well, I see John, Master John used to talk about when you have the saliva in your mouth, you know, you should sort of tap your teeth together and then swallow it in three times, like at the end of the in set, three in chunks. three chunks or bits or whatever. Did you ever get any teaching about that? I mean, it'd be hard to do in this case because you couldn't hold it till the end, you know. <laughs> um, but does that mean anything uh, to you? I, I think it's 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 a great idea if you can do it. You know, if you remember to do that, I think that's a that's a swell thing to do. It's uh you know slosh it around. The enzymes that are being generated there, they uh I'm sure they have a very positive effect on your your teeth and your gums and all that stuff. Uh as well as it just, you know uh any anything you do with it is going to bring more consciousness to the uh to the event so it it's going to mean more more chi there so uh yes all that's all that good good ideas thanks anybody else scott i'm still swallowing about every 15 seconds here <laughs> <laughs> it's not slow it's, down. It's but, juicy. It's yeah, juicy. It's, it's not slow down. No. Great. Yeah, the whole thing. The the movements felt really good. I had a I had to focus on having bear claws a little bit to get the really get the energy. But good idea. Good idea. Yeah. I didn't I didn't think about that, but you're right. Could have that could have that could help things along too. That always helps me. Like you know, if I got dragon claws or if I got wings or whatever, I always. The fingers right. on the helps. Yeah, right, right. Good. Get some bear claws going. A good idea. Richard. Uh, the bears have tails as well. They do. They do. So you can wag your tail. Yeah, I felt the tail thing happening. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't emphasize the tail as much. I'm talking more about the yow, but uh, uh, I. I have to say that everything I do now has some tail with it. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, can't get past it, you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, cool. All right. Well, thank you all so much. It's been good. Appreciate it. Thank you, Maria. Thank, thank you, Maria. guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night.